What's up, YouTube? DQ32 here again, and uh, this time I'm going to be playing some Little Girl by uh, Death from Above 1979 because I love playing all their, all their stuff for bass. <laughs> so, it's not a tutorial video, but basically, well, if you follow through, actually, then again, I'll play it slowly afterwards just to give you an example of what it sound, of how to play it. Um, I'm pretty sure lots of you already know how to play Little Girl. Lots of, lots of you probably want to learn how to play the physical world. I'll get to that eventually. Um, being a student, you know, I'm quite busy. Anyways, so, got my bass amp down there as usual. Tuned down a full step, not drop C, but with D at the bottom. And uh, yeah, so I got my computer hooked up to my speakers over there, so hopefully I don't blare out everything else. So without further ado, we have some little girl to do. Oh god, that's sounded terrible. Okay, from the top. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this on my phone. I'm too lazy to do everything else on my computer. So, fuck it. <laughs> so, little girl.
It's in a full tuning step downwards, and uh, basically it's going to be, so it's basically um, F, C, G, and D at the bottom. So, you know, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to turn it out. But I'm turning down the master volume over here so you can actually hear me speak. Cool. Awesome. So, what we're looking for basically is it starts off on 10th fret of the A string. So, 10, 12, 10. You're going to slide up 10 on the E string. It doesn't matter where you slide from. I normally slide from the 5th fret. It could go from the 10th to 12. Or, not 8 to 10, whatever. So, you could go. So, 10, 12. 10, slide to 10, 8, and then what you're going to do here is you're going to go 12, 10, 12. So 12 on the E string, 10 on the A string, 12 on the A string. So, it's going to be... so that pattern there is going to be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. So it's like off, off timing basically. Let me get to that part, which is the verse essentially. So, once again, quick recap 10, 12, 10, slide to 10, play 8, 10, and then it's 12, 10, 12. I palm mute this part, by the way. And then just those other parts just accent it basically. Yeah. And then leading into the into the verse riff, it's just 12, 10, 12. So 12 on the E string, 10 on the A string, and 12 on the A string again. So it's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, 1 and 2. So that part there, it's 12. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 on the 10th fret of the D string, 10th fret of the A string, 12th fret of the D string again, so you're jumping between these four frets. So. Then you're going to jump down to the 10th fret of the E string. Then eighth fret of the A string, and then down to tenth fret of the D of the E string again. So all together, twelve, ten, ten again on the A string, twelve on the D string, ten on the E string, eight on the A string, and then eight on the D string or E string. And just repeats the same thing. So if I do it slowly, And when the, when the lyrics come in, um, which is right about, I'm going to turn it down on the computer, but when the lyrics come in on that part there, you can find that part. First part. When it comes in the second time, he does something different. Listen. So basically, just a small little variation. But when you go to 12, you're just gonna 12, hammer on 14, release 12 again. So if I do it slowly. So if I play at regular speed, it's gonna sound like this.
as such. All right, now moving on. Yeah, let's just go over to the next part. So then when it finishes that part and leads on to the next part of the chorus, I just you call the chorus riff. So right there he's going to go A10. So 810 on the A string. And then back to 8. So it's A So actually, even 10, 8, 10 were moving really nicely. 8. Now I slide from 8 to 10. So if I show you the whole verse, it's going to sound like this. From that. So. Does it one more time? Here comes that next part. Right there, essentially. Then the chorus riff. This is the fun part. <laughs> so, or, there was my pick. I'm just gonna grab another one. Cool. So. <laughs> Good thing you always have spares on the side, right? Because that happens. So, on this next part, which is really fun to play, it's starting on the 12th fret, so on the octave of G, uh, on the A string, so the 12th fret. Then you're gonna go the octave above it on the 14th fret of the G string. And all you're gonna do is just gonna tremolo pick as you slide downwards. And then the next part, you're gonna go 10, 12, so 10 on the E string, then matching the octave on the 12th fret of the D string, and just going down chromatically. What I mean by that is going down by each semitone, each fret. So you're gonna go. And then, so it's basically 10, 12, 9, 11, 10, 10, and slide down to three on the E string. So it leads up to the same thing. Yeah. So I'll do that slowly just so you can guys can see it. I'll do it overemphasized too, so I can move my fingers out of the way to show you what I'm what I'm, what I'm playing. So 12. 14. 12 again. 10, 12. 9, 10, 9, 11. 10, 8. Wait, 8, 10. Let me count that again. <laughs> One second. 10, 12. 9, 11. 8, 10. 3. So. And then basically you're just going to finish that entire thing there. And basically you just go back to the verse, except the beginning of it, just the first few palm mutes. And then you do that basically one more time, and obviously you'll run into the... Then when you finish that part, the ending part, the ending verse, or riff, that's what the word I was looking for. So you start on 12, it's all palm muted. The only one that's not palm muted is the top G string. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go 12. So 12 and 14. 12 on the A string, so octave. And then 14 up here on the, on the G string. Basically hit in the octave. Then you're gonna pop. I hammer on with this part of my finger. Doesn't really matter. 
So I have the 12 here, or hold it there, and then I hammer on with my pinky. Or you could do the ring finger as well. And basically you're just gonna alternate between 12 and 14 and 14 to 12. So if I do it slowly. And then when you finish that part of the riff, you're basically gonna go 8, 10 on the A string. And back to 8, so 8, 10, 8, and same thing, just on the E string. So, so 8, 10, 10, 10, 8, 8, 8, 8, 10, and then that would sound like a, or it would be a G, but, or you could do open on the A string, it doesn't matter. I like the sound of the eight, open A because it just sounds beautiful. Really crunchy. So, all together, that last riff is basically going to be like this. Oh my god. Other one doesn't matter. So, quick recap of the entire riffs, just one riff at a time. So the intro, verse riff, Then the pre-chorus riff, or I should say the chorus riff, or yeah, pre-chorus riff. And then of course the chorus riff. Oh, by the way, in the first verse, the only time when the second when the second line of the vocals come in, that's the only time he does the. That's the only time. Then of course the final riff, closing riff. I could say the ending riff. Whoa. Yeah, basically it. So, anyways, uh, hopefully that helped you guys out for a little girl. And you know what? I'll I'll do another song, and then this time, I'll do something from the physical world just to make you guys happy. <laughs> anyway, so toodles for now, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the flip side. Woo! That was totally retarded, but whatever. Yeah, it's a really hot day. That's why I have the fan on and the windows open. And surprisingly, for like for like late September, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, see you guys.